is Self Care Sunday! Who is with me tonight? Ah, I'm spilling scotch everywhere. That sort of goes with my day. That so goes with my day. I Can I have a towel production crew? Hello, everybody. It is way more ish than... What did you do? I, I was going to drink right from the bottle. Can I have it, please? Oh, my goodness. I know. There's scotch everywhere. Hello, everybody. It's vodka you want on the rug to make it smell better. Uh, it's vodka, not scotch. Well, I get. I was gonna have a martini tonight, but oh my! Hello, everybody. I apologize for my tardiness tonight. Ah, it has been a. It's been a week today. <laughs> yes, it has. It has been a week. Yes, here I am. I, I do exist. As my mother would say, are you in a ditch somewhere? Close. 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 So I, among other things in my day today, so hello self-care Sunday. So let me tell you the, 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 uh, the story of my afternoon, sort of. I'll make it sound better than it was. Well, the self-care part is the spot. The... Rebecca got her self-care. Rebecca got, got the, the super Lego British bus for remnants of her London trip last year. So Rebecca's happy. So I have a happy Rebecca for mostly. the... Mostly for the moment. So Rebecca went with me to surprise my brother for his birthday in upstate New York and take him to his favorite place, the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, which we did. And we had an amazing waiter who was awesome. Uh, Nana's having surgery Tuesday, Kelly. And so then I get home, and I'll post a picture later, but when I finally make it home from this trip to Albany, this, this whirlwind trip this afternoon, our driveway is probably is almost a quarter mile long and I can't get up my driveway because there's a tree across my driveway and they won't let me get a circular saw or a saw of, a square saw or any kind of saw that would do that so my car's way down at the bottom of the driveway the other cars are all the way at the top of the driveway and a frustrated Neil is in between. How's that? They did try to give me like a two minute warning. I got a two minute warning that there was a tree across our driveway. It came down just prior. So that is my ending of my, and then I spilled the scotch. They, at least, yes, I mean, the tree did not take down a power line, which is good, uh, which is what usually happens. This is what you get for living in the country, and, and so we have three telephone poles up our driveway um, from the power company anyways. Um, so we did not have that happen, so that's a positive. Hey, Adele and Dazzle. And... Uh, we at least have one car on the other side of the tree so we can escape. Although that car has, like, no gas in it. So, because the gas station closed early on the way home. Which is just another add-on thing to the day. And there's been lots of stories like that all throughout my day. But Rebecca got that bus at the Lego store that she wants and she can't get online. And even though she works for Lego, can't get it. So she's really happy. Spilled scotch, yes, I mean, there's only so much of this bottle left, Julie, and that's all we've got right now. I thought about stopping since we passed, on the way to my brother's, we passed the Costco that sells liquor. I thought about stopping on the way, but I wanted to get there, 
and Rebecca wanted to get to the Lego store in Albany, which she knew had the bus, and that's sort of my day for self-care Sunday. Didn't have a lot of self-care to it. But how was your self-care Sunday? This is not a show about me. This is a show about you. So tell me about your self-care Sunday. What did you guys do for self-care Sunday? What are you grateful for? We did make my brother's day by going and taking him to the Cheesecake Factory, and he had the fifth cheesecake on his list, or was this the sixth one on his list? This is the ninth. This is the ninth? Okay. So, uh... Is it like the eighth or the ninth? Because I think this... He got his Cinnabon Cheesecake. We got Rebecca and I at, at lunch split her favorite cheesecake, which is the S'mores Cheesecake, and then we brought the... Godiva and Oreos. We got brought home the Oreo cheesecake and the Godiva cheesecake that Julie told us about uh, for everybody to share at home. Although Cassandra is making something in the kitchen. I don't know if she's making the self-care Sunday recipe or what she's making. Brownies. She's making brownies in the kitchen. Uh, and so that is our self-care Sunday. Julie got a nap. All right, Julie. How do I sign up for that? I haven't gotten a nap since the beginning. That I used to fall asleep on Self Care Sunday. That is when I got a nap. I would, I'd be. They'd come up and find me on the floor in the office asleep. Um, I haven't gotten a nap in forever. Uh, your son's twentieth birthday party. That's great, Kristen, and at your mom's too. So, what else is happening? What are we grateful for on Self-Care Sunday? Who has made the recipe for Self-Care Sunday? Ben and Jerry's Edible Cookie Dough. Pizza Chicken Wings and Wegmans Ultimate Chocolate and Vanilla Cakes. Oh, Wegmans. Now I'm really jealous. I do love a Wegmans. They're, they are something special. Uh, you can come over any day. You know, hop on Angie. When Angie comes through with her RV, I think you just need to pick up people along the way as you head east, uh, Angie. Oh, that's awesome, Angie. I'm glad you had a great day with them. Rain in Albuquerque. Well, better than a hurricane that some people got. I was thankful when I talked to my sister today that she only got, you know, little bits of rain remnants, not any of the real hurricane. Ah, oh, Wegmans is awesome. Wegmans is the best. I mean, they are, they are, oh, I love Wegmans. Um, I gotta say, it was weird being in a mall today and having, like, the food court cleared out. Like, the food court restaurants were open, but all the tables were gone because under New York law, you can't have that dining area. And so that was really weird, this big open space in the middle of the food court where there's normally uh, um, tables and everything. But I will say, well, let's get started. Let's get, let's get our Good Morning, Good Night book going here. I don't have any glasses. How the heck am I going to see? Hang on one second, guys. Having a week. Just like. Okay, I got glasses, people. Ah, uh, resale road trip. Yes. Our good morning, good night book are on page one ninety two tonight, Kitty. One ninety two. Is uh, where we are on our good morning, good night book. Good morning. You will have to say no to things to say yes to your work. It'll be worth it. Yes, it will. Yes, it will on this self-care Sunday, people. Ah. Uh, so let's talk about self-care Sunday. So our self-care Sunday recipe of the week, our recipe of the week for the self-care Sunday cookbook is Ben and Jerry's Ben and Jerry's edible cookie dough. And while I accept the argument that uh, all cookie dough is edible, supposedly there's a safety thing there, uh, 
and uh, we're not supposed to really eat all the cookie dough that we eat, although I love to eat cookie dough. I mean, that, I mean, Pillsbury even makes it in a roll of edible cookie, well, I guess it's not really supposed to be edible cookie dough. They think, do not eat on the package. it says do not eat on the package, but who reads the package? I mean, let's be real here. I mean, cookie dough is made to be eaten. That's just what I'm saying here. Uh, I am a, a, a cookie dough lover from as long as I was allowed to love it. I don't think I was allowed to love it in my mother's house, but that's a whole nother story. I digress. And I'm not trying to go down that road. I'm probably on my mother's good list today since I took my brother out for his birthday. Um, you know, um, raw eggs, salmonella. Like, that's the least thing we need to be worried about in this world right now is salmonella poisoning. <laughs> out of things that we're all worried about. So let's talk about what's happening in the world in my disorganized day. Let's talk about what's happening in the world. Um, I want to talk about what other people are going through a little bit because um, I had a great talk while I was at the Cheesecake Factory today with our waiter, and he was a hustler. I mean, he, he worked it. Awesome. He was, he was truly awesome. I mean, Jonathan was, uh, you know, hit every note. And... and my uh, waiting on my brother can be challenging <laughs> let, let let's uh, to put it mildly and uh everything and jonathan was right on it i mean right with it i mean he was he was he was he was fabulous and he was working a double and um and i talked to him about that for a little bit because i was curious about the business side of it i was curious about because each waiter is really running their own business to an extent okay when you really think about it each waiter or waitress in a restaurant is uh is is really working their own business just like you and i are and um you know i was curious if he was working a double okay because um you know he needed to, to, to see as many tables um, as he would normally, or if he was working a double, okay, because uh, they were shorthanded and couldn't get people to come back to work, or some other reason. And uh, I, I prefaced it on who I was, you know, that I was in business, and I was curious because of the business side of it. And, and if he thought I was just some crazy nut that he was waiting on, he didn't have to uh, to put up with an answer me. So I did, I did give him an out. <laughs> I didn't say I'm holding your tip hostage based on this answer. Um, but um, he started off with that he likes to work a double because when he's in the zone, he's in the zone. So when he goes in and it's showtime, he just wants to go, go, go. Okay? And so he'd rather work doubles in general, and he always has um, as much as possible. But I have to say the Cheesecake Factory was doing a phenomenal job of distancing. So they had, you know, uh, tables set up and tables in between you and the next person. There was at least um, one table between you and everybody else, and they were all marked. Okay, so they didn't seat people at them. Okay, and then if they had, let's say, a party, like we were a party of three, and the next party could be a party of two, they would sit them at the far seats, two tables over, okay? Again, just, you know, respecting everybody's space, um, which, which I have to say didn't happen to me when I was in Target right afterwards, okay? Um, which was really surprising in how they didn't respect distancing. But, or not surprising really, but they had that all laid out. But he was running his business, and so normally he's like, in this section, we have five waiters in this section. And now, because of all the distancing, and because of running with a limited crew, I'm one waiter running this section, but with less tables, with less people, uh, customers, and, slow, and slower turnover and everything. To get the same thing because we we're only running at about 50% capacity in the restaurant. 
So they don't have as many tables, okay, running. They're not turning them as fast. Uh, and, uh, and, um, you know, people are spending less when they're coming in. So it's a trifecta that's making it hard to earn in his business of being a waiter. Because ultimately, they're all independent waiters. Yes, they're employees of the Cheesecake Factory. But they earn the tip wage in New York, which I forget what it is, but it's not uh, $15 an hour. And then they're earning tips. And, you know, if people linger, they're doing, because the, the food service is slower, because they have less people in the kitchen. So everything's coming out slower. So they're not able to turn the tables as fast, um, which is really all about how that business works. And in the restaurant business, you know, you really need to be at about 80% occupancy. You need to have the bar full. You need to have a lot of life going on in there all doing. So he's hustling to do this while at the same time feeling bad for all his co-workers that aren't able to be back at work, that want to be back at work, but they don't have the work for them. So it is a tough balancing act with that. And, and it's much the same of what we're navigating in our businesses, um, but, uh, you know, that is a... a, a uh, you know, he's the sole proprietor of those tables and how those tables turn. And he earned, um, he earned more than the, you know, I gave him like a 35% tip today. I mean, he was just really awesome um, in the way that he did everything and, and took care of us, um, you know, while respecting everything with distancing. So I can't... Uh, I have to give the Cheesecake Factory and Jonathan there um, kudos for that. Um, uh, they, they did uh, really uh, awesome. But that is the struggle that every business is going through. And think of a waiter or waitress um, as their own business. And uh, whichever one of you surprised our waitress last night, I mean, thank you again. But, I mean, that was unnecessary. But, I mean... You know, uh, you caught her really off guard last night, but that's another story. But uh, thank you. We, we greatly appreciate that. So other things happening in the world. The big thing happening right now, um, because I've had a lot of people reach out to me about PPP forgiveness and getting their paperwork in order and all of that. I still think I am still... Uh, bullish on the idea that PPPs under 150,000 will get automatically forgiven. I do not, that is not definite. I think this week will be a very telling week in what Congress does. Uh, Mitch McConnell, um, the Senate Majority Leader, uh, Uncle Mitch, um, has said it may be a few weeks till they get something done. I think their back will be against the wall this week. And I am still hopeful that they get something done this week. We will see uh, how that on, on, uh, comes together on that as part of it. But the SBA has said, so let's step, let's say Congress does nothing. The SBA has set the date for themselves of August 10th. August 10th will be the day that they anticipate being ready to accept the first applications for forgiveness from the banks. Okay, so they aren't accepting anybody's. No, Joanne, I'm super late. You're not late. I'm super late tonight. So they don't expect to uh, be ready. That's the first day they expect to be ready is August 10th. We will see if that really happens and comes together. I'm guessing it'll be a few days later than that. It could be even as late as Labor Day, depending on what Congress is really looking at doing. Um, but that would be the first day. I would not have my application in on the first day. Okay? Um, even if they're ready on August uh, 10th, I would uh, give it a good week uh, before they iron it out. There is not... You don't get an extra award by being the first one through forgiveness. Um, you, you may come out with more scars from being the first one through the forgiveness application than uh, anything else. 
So uh, just keep that in mind. But I will I will be keeping an eye on that. And really, this is a big week for Washington. So we're going to see uh, really whether uh, where Washington's will is this week. There's going to be a lot of saber rattling. There's a lot of things. They were all over the uh, Sunday morning news programs this morning. You know, you turn on one and you see Nancy Pelosi. You turn on another, you, um, you see Schumer and McConnell. And, and you see all of them. They're all talking or their proxies are talking. And it's really a lot of talk because I had my phone really ringing this morning. I was trying to chill for a little bit um, this morning and my phone was uh, going like crazy with, is this really going to happen or is that really going to happen? And, you know, there, there's a, what makes the soundbite on the news and what's really going to happen in Washington are two very, very different things. And I... Uh, I am uh, optimistic on, uh, you know, where they're going to get done with the um, extra 600, with the uh, an extra payment to all Americans, and, uh, you know, where things are headed. So I am, there, there's going to be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of stuff this week. So we'll, we'll see, I'll, I, I will digest it and I will bring you the truth because you'll hear what they're saying and I'll get my, my from my people in Washington and my contacts and what I'm actually asked to comment on um, and things. So we'll see what they actually come up at, with. Um, and I'm also pretty bullish still on another PPP for businesses. And without the level of difficulty... Um, that some of the news reports are talking about it with, which is what the the original bill that called for a second PPP had a lot of uh, restrictions in it and a lot of thresholds to hit. It'll be more industry specific, like retail, um, hospitality, restaurants, travel industries uh, that will be able to get it. Um, but let's see where this goes this week. So. Um, there, there'll be a lot of things. Hey, Patty Aquisto is with us. If it's so, so, it's no, no. And I, that's Patty. There's so many things that are Patty. Hey, Patty, it is great to have you with us here tonight, live, live tonight. Oh, such an honor to have you watching tonight live. Um, you know, but we'll see where that goes this week. So don't get scared. You know, the news media fear sells quickly, so don't get worried. I will keep you updated on what comes out of uh, and what is uh, really advancing in the behind-the-scenes meetings this week because that's uh, that's where the truth lies. And, and, and the media wants to share a lot more fear than... Uh, than where we're really going. And they really want to sow the fear that everything's going to drop out at the end of this week. And I don't think everything, you know, there's a lot of concern, but we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. One day at a time. We don't have to make the next hundred decisions. We just have to make the next decision. The next step. The next, the next step. Not the next hundred steps. You know, that is what we are doing here as we advance through it. And uh, we're all in it together, but uh, we're we're coming. To, we're going to get through this together too. Okay, we're one step closer to the end. We're one step closer to the other side, and uh, we will get there. Hey, Ramona's with us tonight. Great to have you with us, Ramona. Glad to have you here. Um, but uh, we will work on inventory this week. Rome wasn't built in a day. If it was, Kristen, we would hire their contractors. And do any of them have a saw to take out the tree that's in the middle of my driveway? <laughs> I could use some Romans and togas to come and take it out. Uh, it would be, that would, uh, that would, uh, that would be great. If a little army of people showed up with uh, saws and, and made that disappear... Um, we'll be one step closer to the other side of this. But, uh, yeah, 
patience is a uh, patience and empathy is an important thing because people's fuses are short after you know they're still feeling cooped up there's unknowns with when their kids will go back to school if they'll go back to school how that'll be so people's patience and fuses are are tight what was that other story i was going to tell what was the other thing that happened which part i there's been so many things that have happened um was it the alarm last night was it david yelling at you no not david not uh, the alarm there was another thing that happened the spider Oh, the customer ear. Oh, this is a good one. Let me show you how short people are. This was a great customer situation. So you want a, you want a great customer situation. Uh, uh, um, you want a great customer situation. So we sell, and I've talked about it before, we sell placemats for kids. Oh. Okay, we sell placemats for kids and uh, educational placemats from M. Ruskin, painless learning mats they're called, and um, is the uh, M. Ruskin company, uh, Milt and uh, his son run this company, absolutely phenomenal people, can't say enough about them, I can't say enough about them, but you want to talk about how off people are right now and just off. So we sold a presidential, one of the placemats that we sell is the a placemat of all the presidents. Okay? Simple enough, placemat of all the presidents. We, you know, we sold one online, okay, the other day. Um, we sold one online and shipped it out and everything and we got this rave well not raving raving mad customer well, i guess raving mad rabid customer complaint like you are an unconscionable company how dare you sell this placemat you're false advertising you're misleading customers you're deceiving people on and on and on i'm just like what the heck did we do what the heck how are we deceiving misleading it's a freaking placemat for kids of the presidents of the united states all of them all of them okay i'm like um and this just went on and on of all the things we did wrong to deceive and and um lie to this person and what a terrible company we are to to have such a misleading thing on our website i'm like what the heck we what did we do the picture the graphic we used on our website had not been updated to include the current president okay because we just reorder this placemat and whenever it comes in, we just update the quantity and we have used the old picture. And, okay, and, and the one we sent them had the current president on it. And how dare we advertise one without the current president and then send them one with the current president. Total deception, total misleading. They're going to turn us into every organization on earth. I'm like, really? Giving your kid a placemat without the current president on it does not make him not president. I'm just saying, it doesn't. Okay, whatever your political views, <laughs> political politics aside, keeping a, a placemat that does not have the current president on it does not make him not president. If it were truly that easy, okay, if it were truly that easy, oh my God, could we do some editing? Okay. 
Um, we could make some great revisionist history if it were that easy. I'm just like, chill person. Let me give you your money back. This is not worth it. I refunded the placement. I'm like, I refunded the, the shipping. I'm like, please, please donate this to somebody that actually has a clue. Yes, Kelly, damned if you do and damned if you don't. That has been my self-care Sunday. That has been my self-care Sunday. But the one thing that we always do, Kelly, and, and it, it is, and it, it's whether taking my driving hours to take my brother out to, to, to lunch, um, or dealing with a customer like that, is we do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not because people are nuts or trying to explain the, the where they're off base or, or what. It's not even, you do the right thing. So we gave the money back. I'm just like sharing this story. I mean, because that's honestly not even the craziest thing that's happened in my day. It is not. So, I mean, I share that story because that is, that is where people are. And so having empathy for other people is so important right now. Caring more about other people than you do yourself. Taking the time to understand what's going on in their life. Taking the time to be thankful for them. Okay? Okay? And whatever they're going through. I mean, she's got a lot of trauma in her life if she thinks that having a placemat without Trump on it is going to make it correct, okay? Um, it, it, it just, you, you, you have to understand all the pains and pressures that everybody else is going through. And I'm, overall, I really am really good at just rolling with things. Um, it's part of my level playing field. I can't get stuck up in any, too much in any one thing um, because we're going to get to the other side of all of this, okay? We are totally getting to the other side of all of this. But you, it, you have to do it with compassion, with empathy, with feeling for others, um, and, and, and with grace, okay? Uh, if we do all that, okay, if we do all that, and yes, we can come back here and, and, and sit back and just say, What? Okay, give me a V8, okay? Uh, give me a V8 on that one, okay? Uh, yes, it's almost like a full moon. I mean, I had another, I, we had, I had to pull the videotape of the customer that insisted they, 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 they slipped in our bathroom on, because our floor, there was no water on the floor in the bathroom. There's no way they slipped. And they went in there twice. Once, twice, her kid went in twice, she went in twice. Okay, no freaking way. But, you know, but she wanted to file a claim. Okay, well, you know, I want to file a claim. Um, but that's, you know, we just have to have compassion and empathy for what's going on in everybody's life right now. People are on a short fuse. They're stressed with what's going to happen with their kids. You have the people that say kids should never be back in school. The other ones that say they should all be back in school. The people that say wear a mask. The people that say don't. You just have to have some understanding, patience, and grace. Patience and grace, people. That is what I encourage. It's okay for us here to talk about it. This is a safe place. You're in your safe place. But patience and grace, patience and grace, we will, it will get us to the other side and, and appreciation of those that are out there, you know? So just like Jonathan, our waiter today, and, and, our, and our waitress last night who was amazing, um, it, it, you just have to have patience and grace and, and be thankful for these moments. And uh, I am thankful for each and every one of you who tune in every night every night okay or even wonder like tonight whether i was stuck in a ditch okay if i was stuck in a ditch tonight you guys are worried about me i was blocked by a tree but a tree can't block me from getting to you guys no tree will come in our way okay 
No tree will stop us. No tree will stop us, okay? And we are here every night live at more eight than ish, although tonight was way more ish than eight. More eight than ish every night Eastern live here in the Nards Private Facebook group. These videos and all the resources that I talk about go over to nards.org slash resale strong by noon the next day. Okay, noon the next day, we are in narts.org slash resale strong is where you can find these videos and all the resources I talk about. Okay, they're all neatly organized. Cassandra and Adele make it all happen. They are the behind the scenes that make me look good. Don't forget them. Okay, because, you know, I only marginally dress myself here for this. Today I dressed myself. How did I do? I'm, I went with my safe color, as Kitty would call it. I got a blue going. Oh, uh, but I never sing the blues. I'm only happy. Here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will be back here tomorrow night at more 8 than ish. But if you have a question before then, just email me. Neil, N-E-I-L at ECIStores.com. N-E-I-L at ECIStores.com. Make sure you include your phone number in the email. We start every day and night with the good morning, every night with the good morning, good night book. Tonight we are on page 192. Good morning. You'll have to say no to things to say yes to your work. It'll be worth it. Remember, that's just like what Patty teaches us about inventory. So, so is no, no. It allows you to say yes to the inventory you want. Okay. Our good night tonight is good night. Don't forget to look up from your work and let real life in. It makes your work better. Look at those graphics, people. Look at the graphics tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I so appreciate you. Each and every one of you. I'll be back here tomorrow night at more 8 than ish. More 8 than ish tomorrow night. We'll hopefully have the tree out of our way. Both Val and Bill know about it. We'll make it happen. We'll get out a match, maybe light it. Who knows? We'll have s'mores. We'll have s'mores out in the driveway. Who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back here tomorrow night. More 8th and ish. I am Neil Abrams, and I do like a good party, a wedding, a bar mitzvah. We will party together soon. If you haven't registered for the Narch Virtual Conference, do it. Do it. What are you waiting for? It's coming. It's coming. Hey, set it on fire. All right, Kristen. It sounds like a good idea, right? I mean, the tree, I mean, I don't know. I don't know fire any more better than I know power tools. It's really not my thing. My mother in our house growing up had the fireplace walled over. What the heck do I know? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you tomorrow night. But until then, know that you and you and most importantly you, yes you, are not alone running this store. I'll see you tomorrow everybody. Have a great night. It's time for dessert. Cheesecake! and brownies.